What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another Tesla Model 3 video for you. Uh, I ordered the Robot Craftsman Hacker front bumper. So I wanted to make a little video. I haven't seen much uh, media on this bumper uh, except for like some pictures with some like dubstep music behind it or something. But I uh, wanted to do kind of more of a how-to video if you're thinking about ordering this bumper uh, just to see what you're getting yourself into. Uh, the good news is mine didn't require any body work or, or special stuff like that. But um, I decided to go with the wrap, so I'm not going to paint it or anything. Uh, if you're going to paint it, you're probably in for more uh, more cash and more time and more effort and everything to make it look good. But uh, I just decided I'm going to wrap the whole car. I'm going to try to do that myself, so I have another video on that. Apologies in advance. Uh, I did film it in vertically because I was trying to put this thing on and hold, the ca hold my phone with one hand. So apologies it's in vertical, but uh, I'll try to do better on the next one. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's get into the video. Thanks. All right, so I've got the uh, Robot Craftsman Hacker front bumper here. This is how it comes raw. And what I want to do is test fit it uh, onto my Tesla. So I'm just taking a look at these pre-drilled holes here. Right, and you can kind of see that, you know, they're a little bit smaller than the clips. And if you compare the new, like, the Tesla bumper, right, those are pretty large squares. These are pretty big holes here pretty big square so um, what I did is I just went to Harbor Freight and just got some uh, file sets and it's really easy it doesn't take a lot of time to uh, kind of file those squares a little bit bigger um, and then uh, also got some drill bits just to kind of bore these things out um, just to bigger them make them a little bit bigger because um, you can see here right those are pretty small compared to these big rectangles, right? So we know we're gonna have to do a little bit of, of filing to get that to fit in. So I've already tried to mock it up here, but um, it would not clip in here. Um, so I just wanna make sure that everything is able to bolt up before I drop it off uh, to the body shop and it's painted and risk like chipping the paint or something. So now's kind of the time where I wanna mock it up and uh, Make sure everything fits before we take it down to the body shop. You could just take the whole thing to the body shop too, but uh, I still want to drive the car, so I'm going to mock fit it and then just drop, drop the bumper off uh, so I can still drive my car for a few weeks. Um, but, you know, in your case, you know, you might, if you don't have basic maintenance skills, you might just want to drop everything off there and uh, have them hook it up for you. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think everything it fits well if the holes are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, file that. Let me show that here on the camera. I have to do one-handed, but it's pretty hard. It's not very hard. that right there that looks a little bit bigger I think we might be able to size onto there and I'm just going around here equally I'm not you know driving down too much to one side I'm just going all the way around equally it's okay if it's a little bit loose you know to get it to fit just right so if you have like a little gap or something needs to shift it's okay if it's a little bit loose it will clip in there it's gonna be bolted down with bolts and clips and everything so uh, it's okay if it's a little bit bigger I'm going a little bit at a time right it's like a haircut once you cut it off, you can't take it off again. So you can kind of tell that is a really small holes, you know, compared to what I just filed down here, right? A little bit bigger. So we're gonna do the other side and uh, try to mock test it up here. All right, so uh, went ahead, you can kind of see some of the shavings down there. That's what that one looks like, right? It's not too pretty. That's what that one looks like. Now they still might be a little small, but uh, like I said, I'm just gonna try to test fit this up. in. 
Okay, so it's pretty good. And it looks like we're all test fitted up. All right, we want to make sure everything's lined up, right? We don't want this way back here, right? That lines up once we get the bolts in there. All right, everything's looking good here. Now see how that tape's tore up? That would have been your headlights getting all messed up. So that's why we put a lot of tape right there. All right, yeah, everything's lining up. So that part is good. Let's see what that looks like. Let's close the hood real quick too. And uh, kind of see how we look in here. And that's a big one too, right? You don't want these, you don't want this to be way off on this side, but that doesn't look too bad. It's not super close or, you know, it's close here, but it's also close here, so. Yeah, all right. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay. Pretty rough unpainted, of course, but uh, I think I'm semi-happy with that. It's not too bad. Now what we need to do is uh, take it back off and uh, we're going to need to make all the holes, you know, all these holes too, right? We're going to need them to enlarge them just a little bit uh, so they fit on and we can actually attach this thing. But that's a pretty big step, getting it test fitted on there. Um, this is my first time ever doing a body kit or anything like that. Uh, but if you just go slow, you know, watch some videos on YouTube. Uh, it seems to be going all right. The only uh, one question I still have is how we're going to mount uh, the wire. All right, and uh, since, you know, since we're going to bore these out, everything is lining up, right? That's another thing you want to check. You know, we don't want these holes to be, you know, we don't want the screw hole way over here. But everything looks pretty good. But they are a little bit smaller. I guess we could try one just to see. You know, no sense of taking material off. Yeah, you know, and you might not even need to uh, to take anything off. I know for a fact uh, you will for the clips because the the holes on this are just too small for those plastic clips to go through. Uh, so I think I'll just leave these front screw holes as is and uh, just gonna make these sides. I don't want to be fumbling around with this, right? Um, you know, I'm in tight spaces. I'm not working on a lift or anything. So I don't want to be having to wiggle that to get it exactly precise. So what I think I'll do, you know, is just make these similar to what's on there already. And then uh, these are all the, the bottom clips and they're much smaller on the Robot Craftsman. So I'll just kind of drill those out. That's self-explanatory. And then, uh, find a way to uh, how we're going to mount these, um, all these uh, parking sensors. So, yeah, let's take it off and uh, try it out. Oh, Alright, so uh, what I'm doing now, I don't really think these ones matter too much now that I'm looking at it more. Uh, I might just touch those up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to drill, let's see what size is this bit. So, this is a 5 sixteenths bit. Make sure there's a metric equivalent to you. But, uh, yeah, so all you have to do is just kind of, like, that's the Tesla one, right? That's pretty much a good fit, so it's a little bit smaller than that, but I think it'll be just fine. So I'm going to go around, kind of drill out these holes a little bit bigger, just so I'm not having to really pull and stretch as hard as I can to get it to fit, especially on these edges here uh, and then the clips. The, the clips just definitely won't fit in the small holes down there, so I'm just going to drill these all out. I'm do this one on camera one handed. Yeah, it doesn't take much to go through there. So, now it's a little bit bigger. And again, I want to do this before it's painted. So that way I don't chip the paint or, you know, mess with that up, right? If I know it fits, you know, the body folks can, can do that. I'm not doing any of the painting or body work myself. But I just want to make sure that it fits before I take it over there. 
So yeah, I'm gonna drill all these out and uh, come back once that's done. All right, so we've got all our, our top holes drilled here, um, but these are definitely gonna be, need to be bigger for the sides. Right, it's those plastic clips. You can even try to test fit it too if you want to. So these are the clips. They go into the side in the fender well. And you know, obviously that is way too small. So we're gonna try that 5 16 bit again. And uh, we can always make it bigger. So I'll try that and uh, drill these side ones out. And then we'll still have to get these bottom ones out too. Those actually look a little bit bigger, but they still don't look big enough. Yeah, they're gonna need to be a little bit bigger too, so. All right, we'll drill all those up and then uh, go from there. So, there we go, all right. Now I'll just use, I'm gonna go really slow here. It's hard to do one handed. Okay, so that actually fits pretty well. Yeah, perfect. So that's gonna be the size to use. Yeah, yep, good deal. Cool, so I'm gonna do all the rest of them and uh, come back once these are all drilled out and then we'll try to, uh, try to bolt it on. All right, so we got all the holes drilled out. Um, I didn't get this on camera, but uh, all I did is order a uh, parking sensor wire harness from eBay along with the parking center mounts and then I just epoxied them uh, to the bumper uh, from the inside uh, that's pretty straightforward you know just line it up put some epoxy down you know, let it cure um, I used that JB weld five minute epoxy uh, works good for fiberglass metals all kinds of stuff but uh, that's what I did that way I didn't have to tear up my factory bumper with the wiring harness and all that stuff I did use the same parking sensors um, but other than that, I uh, got extra stuff from eBay, so I won't have to tear up my factory one if I wanted to go back stock or, you know, if I messed something up or got an accident or whatever, I can just slap the other one back on. But, uh, wanted to show you all, um, it's all bolted up and mocked up now. That's all good. You know, this is nice and flush here. That's nice and flush here. You know, there's no gaps. That sticks out maybe a hair. It's not too crazy though. That's the bottom there. You know, same thing. There's maybe a couple mill gap right there, but nothing. Uh, not a gap, but like, you know. Yeah, a little gap. But I can tighten that screw up there. I just didn't want to go full bore. So I'm going to take this thing off again. But the parking sensors, like some of them, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. Like that one actually is pretty good. That one, there's a slight indent there. Slight indent there, it'll probably look a lot different once it's wrapped. Um, I went to several body shops around the area, but they were all backed up um, for several months. So I'm just, I decided I'm gonna try to wrap it myself and I'll do another video on that, but uh, just wanted to show you all that. Let me go back here in the fender well so you can kind of see those clips. You know, there's a clip there, there, there. So we'll go into the car real quick too so you can see that. Piece of cardboard here. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, you can see the, the clips are all in there from the bottom. So just use that 5 16 bit. That's perfect. You know, it's all mocked up. Uh, the only thing that uh, you might want to do, I'm going to put the little bumper covers over there. 
Because I feel like if you're going highway speeds, you know, the wind might push out that wheel well liner. I don't want that really getting popped off, so it comes with these. You know, just, I'm, I'll put those on. I just want to wrap it first so I'm not having to fumble around that thing. So I can bring the wrap in and then wrap that and then just put it right over there. Um, it does screw in from the inside. So if you see, there's this flap on here. You can screw that in from the inside. So I'm going to have to take the bumper off again, but I want it on there for when I wrap the uh, wrap it the blue color. So that way it's firm and I can pull against it and stretch the vinyl and all that stuff. Um, these side, uh, the side lip on both sides, it unscrews and you can actually remove it. So that'll work out really well for a wrap. Because then you can bring your wrap under there and then wrap this separately. And then screw it back and secure it on there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like pre-paint or pre-wrap. Um, you know, the only thing is, like I said, before I uh, wrap it, I probably don't want to go too crazy fast so the wind doesn't blow those wheel wells out with those vents in there. You know, I think it looks cooler with them, but uh, I don't want it to create any problems. But, yeah, that's pretty much the whole video on how to mount your Robot Craftsman Narrow Tesla Model 3 bumper. Um, I'll do another video when I wrap it. But uh, if you have any questions, post it in the comments. If you think it's a good stuff, uh, give me a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.